In quantum physics, light is in a squeezed state, if its electric field strength, for some phases, th has a quantum uncertainty smaller than that of a coherent state. The term squeezing thus refers to a reduced quantum uncertainty. To obey Heisenberg's uncertainty relation, a squeezed state must also have phases at which the electric field uncertainty is anti-squeezed, i.e. larger than that of a coherent state. Topic quantum physical background An oscillating physical quantity cannot have precisely defined values at all phases of the oscillation. This is true for the electric and magnetic fields of an electromagnetic wave, as well as for any other wave or oscillation see figure right. This fact can be observed in experiments and is correctly described by quantum theory. For electromagnetic waves we usually consider just the electric field, because it is the one that mainly interacts with matter. Fig. 1 shows five different quantum states that a monochromatic wave could be in. The difference of the five quantum states is given by different electric field excitations and by different distributions of the quantum uncertainty along the phase th for a displaced coherent state, the expectation mean value of the electric field clearly shows an oscillation, with an uncertainty independent of the phase a. Also the phase b and amplitude squeezed states c show an oscillation of the mean electric field, but here the uncertainty depends on phase and is squeezed for some phases. The vacuum state D is a special coherent state and is not squeezed. It has zero mean electric field for all phases and a phase-independent uncertainty. It has zero energy on average, i.e. zero photons, and is the ground state of the monochromatic wave we consider. Finally, a squeezed vacuum state has also a zero mean electric field but a phase-dependent uncertainty e. Generally, quantum uncertainty reveals itself through a large number of identical measurements on identical quantum objects here, modes of light that, however, give different results. Let us again consider a continuous wave monochromatic light wave as emitted by an ultra-stable laser. A single measurement of th1 display style varthita underscore one is performed over many periods of the light wave and provides a single number. The next measurements of th1 display style varthita underscore one will be done consecutively on the same laser beam. Having recorded a large number of such measurements we know the field uncertainty at th1 display style varthita underscore 1. In order to get the full picture, and for instance fig.1 b, we need to record the statistics at many different phases 0 thi pi display style 0. Topic. Quantitative description of squeezed uncertainty The measured electric field strengths at the wave's phase th are the eigenvalues of the normalized quadrature operator x th x underscore varthita where x Th equals zero x display style x underscore bar theta equals zero caret circ equiv x is the wave's amplitude quadrature and x th equals ninety y display style x underscore bar theta equals ninety caret circ equiv y is the wave's phase quadrature x display style x and y display style y are non-commuting observables 
Although they represent electric fields, they are dimensionless and satisfy the following uncertainty relation. Delta x 2 delta y 2 1 16 display style delta 10 caret 2 delta y caret 2 geq frac 1 16 where delta 2 display style delta caret 2 stands for the variance the variance is the mean of the squares of the measuring values minus the square of the mean of the measuring values. If a mode of light is in its ground state, zero, display style, zero, wrangle, having an average photon number of zero, the uncertainty relation above is saturated and the variances of the quadrature are delta x g2 equals delta y g2 equals one quarter, display style, delta 10 underscore g caret 2 equals delta y underscore g caret 2 equals one quarter. Other normalizations can also be found in literature. The normalization chosen here has the nice property that the sum of the ground state variances directly provide the zero point excitation of the quantized harmonic oscillator delta 2xg plus delta 2yg equals one half. Display style delta caret two x underscore g plus delta caret two y underscore g equals one half. Definition: Light is in a squeezed state if and only if a phase th display style var theta exists for which delta two x th delta two x g equals one four display style delta caret two x underscore var theta. While coherent states belong to the semi-classical states, since they can be fully described by a semi-classical model, squeezed states of light belong to the so-called non-classical states, which also include number states, Fox states and Schrödinger cat states. Squeezed states of light were first produced in the mid-1980s. At that time, quantum noise squeezing by up to a factor of about 2 3 decibels in variance was achieved, i.e. delta 2 x th approximately equals delta 2 x g 2 Display style delta caret two x underscore var theta approximately delta caret two x underscore g two. Today, squeeze factors larger than 10, 10 decibels have been directly observed. A limitation is set by decoherence, mainly in terms of optical loss. A recent review is given in ref. Archive version. The squeeze factor in decibel dB can be computed in the following way: minus 10 log delta m i n 2 x theta delta 2 x g Display style minus ten C D O T log FRAC delta underscore mathem min carrot two x underscore theta delta carrot two x underscore G where delta M I N two x theta Display style delta underscore mathem min caret two x underscore theta is the smallest variance when varying the phase th display style var theta from zero to pi display style pi. This particular phase theta display style theta is called the squeeze angle. Topic: 
physical meaning of measurement quantity and measurement object Quantum uncertainty becomes visible when identical measurements of the same quantity observable on identical objects here, modes of light give different results eigenvalues. In case of a single freely propagating monochromatic laser beam, the individual measurements are performed on consecutive time intervals of identical length. One interval must last much longer than the light's period, otherwise the monochromatic property would be significantly disturbed. Such consecutive measurements correspond to a time series of fluctuating eigenvalues. Consider an example in which the amplitude quadrature x x was repeatedly measured. The time series can be used for different purposes. Averaging over the full data set just gives the average electric field amplitude over the total measuring time. This number is not meaningful in terms of a quantum statistical analysis, because there is just a single number. The amplitude of the light wave might be different before and after our measurement. The amplitude of the light beam could even be strongly modulated on time scales much longer than our data taking. This is a rather fundamental issue, since any data taking lasts for a finite time. Our time series, however, does provide meaningful information about fast changes of the light's amplitude, i.e. changes at frequencies higher than the inverse of the full measuring time. Changes that are faster than the duration of a single measurement, however, are invisible again. A quantum statistical characterization through consecutive measurements on some sort of a carrier is thus always related to a specific frequency interval, for instance described by f plus or minus delta f 2 display style f pm delta f2 with f greater than delta f2 greater than 0 display style f greater than delta f2 greater than 0 based on this inside we can describe the physical meaning of the observable X th display style x underscore var theta. More clearly, the quantum statistical characterization using identical consecutive modes carried by a laser beam confers to the laser beam's electric field modulation within a frequency interval. The actual observable needs to be labeled accordingly. For instance, as x thf delta f display style x underscore bar theta f delta f x f delta f display style x underscore f delta f is the amplitude or depth of the amplitude modulation and y f delta F display style y underscore f delta f the amplitude or depth of the phase modulation in the respective frequency interval. This leads to the doggerel expressions amplitude quadrature amplitude and phase quadrature amplitude. Within some limitations, for instance, set by the speed of the electronics, f display style f and delta f display style delta f can be freely chosen in course of data acquisition and in particular data processing this choice also defines the measurement object i.e. the mode that is characterized by the statistics of the eigenvalues of x f delta f Display style x underscore f delta f and 
y f delta f display style y underscore f delta f the measurement object thus is a modulation mode that is carried by the light beam in many experiments, one is interested in a continuous spectrum of many modulation modes carried by the same light beam. Fig. 2 shows the squeeze factors of many neighboring modulation modes versus f f. The upper trace refers to the uncertainties of the same modes being in their vacuum states, which serves as the zero decibels reference. The observables in squeezed light experiments correspond exactly to those being used in optical communication. Amplitude modulation AM and frequency modulation FM are the classical means to imprint information on a carrier field. Frequency modulation is mathematically closely related to phase modulation. The observables X F Delta F display style x underscore F delta F and Y F delta F display style Y underscore F delta F also correspond to the measurement quantities in laser interferometers, such as in Sagnac interferometers measuring rotation changes and in Michelson interferometers observing gravitational waves. Squeezed states of light thus have ample applications in optical communication and optical measurements. Topic. Applications. Topic. Optical high-precision measurements Squeezed light is used to reduce the photon counting noise, shot noise in optical high-precision measurements, most notably in laser interferometers. There are a large number of proof-of-principle experiments. Laser interferometers split a laser beam in two paths and overlap them again afterwards. If the relative optical path length changes, the interference changes, and the light power in the interferometer's output port as well. This light power is detected with a photodiode providing a continuous voltage signal. If for instance the position of one interferometer mirror vibrates and thereby causes an oscillating path length difference, the output light has an amplitude modulation of the same frequency. Independent of the existence of such a classical signal, a beam of light always carries at least the vacuum state uncertainty see above. The modulation signal with respect to this uncertainty can be improved by using a higher light power inside the interferometer arms, since the signal increases with the light power. This is the reason, in fact the only one, why Michelson interferometers for the detection of gravitational waves use very high optical power. High light power, however, produces technical problems. Mirror surfaces absorb parts of the light, become warmer, get thermally deformed and reduce the interferometer's interference contrast. Furthermore, an excessive light power can excite unstable mechanical vibrations of the mirrors. These consequences are mitigated if squeezed states of light are used for improving the signal-to-noise ratio. Squeezed states of light do not increase the light's power. They also do not increase the signal, but instead reduce the noise. Laser interferometers are usually operated with monochromatic continuous wave light. The optimal signal to noise ratio is achieved by either operating the differential interferometer arm lengths such that both output ports contain half of the input light power half fringe and by recording the difference signal from both ports, or by operating the interferometer close to a dark fringe for one of the output ports where just a single photodiode is placed. 
The latter operation point is used in gravitational wave GW detectors. For improving an interferometer sensitivity with squeezed states of light, the already existing bright light does not need to be fully replaced. What has to be replaced is just the vacuum uncertainty in the difference of the phase quadrature amplitudes of the light fields in the arms, and only at modulation frequencies at which signals are expected. This is achieved by injecting a broadband squeezed vacuum field fig. 1e into the unused interferometer input port fig. 3. Ideally, perfect interference with the bright field is achieved. For this the squeezed field has to be in the same mode as the bright light, i.e. has to have the same wavelength, same polarization, same wavefront curvature, same beam radius, and, of course, the same directions of propagation in the interferometer arms. For the squeezed light enhancement of a Michelson interferometer operated at dark fringe, a polarizing beam splitter in combination with a Faraday rotator is required. This combination constitutes an optical diode. Without any loss, the squeezed field is overlapped with the bright field at the interferometer's central beam splitter, is split and travels along the arms, is retro-reflected, constructively interferes and overlaps with the interferometer signal towards the photo-diode. Due to the polarization rotation of the Faraday rotator, the optical loss on signal and squeezed field is zero in the ideal case. Generally, the purpose of an interferometer is to transform a differential phase modulation of two light beams into an amplitude modulation of the output light. Accordingly, the injected vacuum squeezed field is injected such that the differential phase quadrature uncertainty in the arms is squeezed. On the output light amplitude quadrature squeezing is observed. Fig. 4 shows the photo voltage of the photo diode in the interferometer output port. Subtracting the constant offset provides the GW signal. A source of squeezed states of light were integrated in the gravitational wave detector GEO 600 in 2010, as shown in Fig. 4. The source was built by the research group of R. Schnabel at Leibniz Universität Hanover, Germany. With squeezed light, the sensitivity of GEO 600 during observational runs has been increased to values, which for practical reasons were not achievable without squeezed light. In 2018, squeezed light upgrades are also planned for the gravitational wave detectors Advanced LIGO and Advanced Virgo. Going beyond squeezing of photon counting noise, squeezed states of light can also be used to correlate quantum measurement noise, shot noise and quantum back action noise to achieve sensitivities in the quantum non-demolition regime. Topic. Radiometry and calibration of quantum efficiencies Squeezed light can be used in radiometry to calibrate the quantum efficiency of photoelectric photo detectors without a lamp of calibrated radiance. Here, the term photo detector refers to a device that measures the power of a bright beam, typically in the range from a few microwatts up to about 0.1 W. The typical example is a pin photo diode. In case of perfect quantum efficiency 100%, such a detector is supposed to convert every photon energy of incident light into exactly one photoelectron. Conventional techniques of measuring quantum efficiencies require the knowledge of how many photons hit the surface of the photo detector, i.e. they require a lamp of calibrated radiance. The calibration on the basis of squeezed states of light uses instead the effect that the uncertainty product delta 2 x f delta f delta 2 y f delta 
f display style delta caret 2 x underscore f delta f c d o t delta caret 2 y underscore f delta f increases the smaller the quantum uncertainty of the detector is. In other words, the squeezed light method uses the fact that squeezed states of light are sensitive against decoherence. Without any decoherence during generation, propagation and detection of squeezed light, the uncertainty product has its minimum value of 1 16th see above. If optical loss is the dominating decoherence effect, which usually is the case, the independent measurement of all optical losses during generation and propagation together with the value of the uncertainty product directly reveals the quantum uncertainty of the photo detectors used. When a squeezed state with squeezed variance delta 2 x f Delta F display style delta caret two x underscore F delta F is detected with a photo detector of quantum efficiency. Ada display style Ada with zero Ada one display style zero leq Ada leq one the actually observed variance is increased to delta two x f delta f o b s equals eta delta two x f delta f plus 1 minus eta 4 Display style delta carrot two x underscore f delta f carrot mathem obs equals eta c d o t delta carrot two x underscore f delta f plus one eta four Optical loss mixes a portion of the vacuum state variance to the squeezed variance, which decreases the squeeze factor. The same equation also describes the influence of a non-perfect quantum efficiency on the anti-squeezed variance. The anti-squeezed variance reduces, however, the uncertainty product increases. Optical loss on a pure squeezed state produces a mixed squeezed state. Topic. Entanglement based quantum key distribution Squeezed states of light can be used to produce Einstein Podolsky Rosen entangled light that is the resource for a high quality level of quantum key distribution, QKD, which is called one sided device independent QKD, superimposing on a balanced beam splitter two identical light beams that carry squeezed modulation states and have a propagation length difference of a quarter of their wavelength produces two EPR entangled light light beams at the beam splitter output ports. Quadrature amplitude measurements on the individual beams reveal uncertainties that are much larger than those of the ground states, but the data from the two beams show strong correlations, from a measurement value taken at the first beam x f delta f a Display style x underscore f delta f caret a. One can infer the corresponding measurement value taken at the second beam. X f delta f b. Display style x underscore f delta f caret b. If the inference shows an uncertainty smaller than that of the vacuum state, EPR correlations exist, see Fig. 4. 
The aim of quantum key distribution is the distribution of identical, true random numbers to two distant parties A and B in such a way that A and B can quantify the amount of information about the numbers that has been lost to the environment and thus is potentially in hand of an eavesdropper. To do so, sender A sends one of the entangled light beams to receiver B. A and B measure repeatedly and simultaneously, taking the different propagation times into account, one of two orthogonal quadrature amplitudes. For every single measurement, they need to choose whether to measure x, display style x, or y, display style y, in a truly random way, independently from each other. By chance, they measure the same quadrature in 50% of the single measurements. After having performed a large number of measurements, A and B communicate publicly what their choice was for every measurement. The non-matched pairs are discarded. From the remaining data they make public a small but statistically significant amount to test whether B is able to precisely infer the measurement results at A knowing the characteristics of the entangled light source and the quality of the measurement at the sender site. The sender gets information about the decoherence that happened during channel transmission and during the measurement at B the decoherence quantifies the amount of information that was lost to the environment. If the amount of lost information is not too high and the data string not too short, data post-processing in terms of error correction and privacy amplification produces a key with an arbitrarily reduced epsilon level of insecurity. In addition to conventional QKD, the test for EPR correlations not only characterizes the channel over which the light was sent for instance a glass fiber, but also the measurement at the receiver site. The sender does not need to trust the receiver's measurement anymore. This higher quality of QKD is called one-sided device independent. This type of QKD works if the natural decoherence is not too high. For this reason, an implementation that uses conventional telecommunication glass fibers would be limited to a distance of a few kilometers. Topic. Generation Squeezed light is produced by means of nonlinear optics. The most successful method uses degenerate type 1 optical parametric down conversion also called optical parametric amplification inside an optical resonator. To squeeze modulation states with respect to a carrier field at optical frequency. New Display style New a bright pump field at twice the optical frequency is focused into a nonlinear crystal that is placed between two or more mirrors forming an optical resonator. It is not necessary to inject light at frequency new display style new. Such light, however, is required for detecting the squeezed modulation states. The crystal material needs to have a nonlinear susceptibility and needs to be highly transparent for both optical frequencies used. Typical materials are lithium niobate, lithium metaniobate, and periodically polled potassium titanyl phosphate (KTP). Due to the nonlinear susceptibility of the pumped crystal material, the electric field at frequency nu display style new is amplified and deamplified depending on the relative phase to the pump light at the pump's electric field maxima the electric field at frequency new display style new is amplified at the pump's electric field minima the electric field at frequency new display style new is squeezed this way the vacuum state fig 1e is transferred to a squeezed vacuum state fig 
1d a displaced coherent state fig 1a is transferred to a phase squeezed state fig 1b or to an amplitude squeezed state fig 1c depending on the relative phase between coherent input field and pump field a graphical description of these processes can be found in the existence of a resonator for the field at new display style new is essential the task of the resonator is shown in fig 6 the left resonator mirror has a typical reflectivity of about r 1 2 equals 90 percent display style r underscore 1 caret 2 equals 90 percent correspondingly 0 0.9 Display style sqrt 0.9 of the electric field that continuously enters from the left gets reflected. The remaining part is transmitted and resonates between the two mirrors. Due to the resonance, the electric field inside the resonator gets enhanced even without any medium inside. 10 percent. Display style 10% of the steady state light power inside the resonator gets transmitted towards the left and interferes with the beam that was retro reflected directly. For an empty loss less resonator, 100% of the light power would eventually propagate towards the left, obeying energy conservation. The principle of the squeezing resonator is the following, the medium parametrically attenuates the electric field inside the resonator to such a value that perfect destructive interference is achieved outside the resonator for the attenuated field quadrature. The optimum field attenuation factor inside the resonator is slightly below 2, depending on the reflectivity of the resonator mirror. This principle also works for electric field uncertainties. Inside the resonator, the squeeze factor is always less than 6 dB, but outside the resonator it can be arbitrarily high. If quadrature x f delta f display style x underscore f delta f is squeezed, quadrature Y F Delta F Display style Y underscore F delta F is anti-squeezed, inside as well as outside the resonator. It can be shown that the highest squeeze factor for one quadrature is achieved if the resonator is at its threshold for the orthogonal quadrature. At threshold and above, the pump field is converted into a bright field at optical frequency. New display style new squeezing resonators are usually operated slightly below threshold. For instance, to avoid damage to the photodiodes due to the bright down converted field, a squeezing resonator works efficiently at modulation frequencies well inside its line width. Only for these frequencies highest squeeze factors can be achieved. At frequencies the optical parametric gain is strongest, and the time delay between the interfering parts negligible. If decoherence was zero, infinite squeeze factors could be achieved outside the resonator, although the squeeze factor inside the resonator was less than 6 dB. Squeezing resonators have typical line widths of a few tens of mHz up to GHz. <laughs> Topic. Detection Squeezed states of light can be fully characterized by a photoelectric detector that is able to subsequently measure the electric field strengths at any phase. Th display style var theta. 
The restriction to a certain band of modulation frequencies happens after the detection by electronic filtering. The required detector is a balanced homodyne detector (BHD). It has two input ports for two light beams, one for the squeezed signal field and another for the BHD's local oscillator, low, having the same wavelength as the signal field. The low is part of the BHD. Its purpose is to beat with the signal field and to optically amplify it. Further components of the BHD are a balanced beam splitter and two photo diodes of high quantum efficiency. Signal beam and low need to be overlapped at the beam splitter. The two interference results in the beam splitter output ports are detected and the difference signal recorded Fig. 7. The low needs to be much more intense than the signal field. In this case the differential signal from the photo diodes in the interval f plus or minus delta f 2 display style f pm delta f 2 is proportional to the quadrature amplitude x thf delta f display style x underscore bar theta f delta f changing the differential propagation length before the beam splitter sets the quadrature angle to an arbitrary value a change by a quarter of the optical wavelength changes the phase by pi 2 display style pi 2 the following should be stated at this point, any information about the electromagnetic wave can only be gathered in a quantized way, i.e. by absorbing light quanta photons. This is also true for the BHD. However, a BHD cannot resolve the discrete energy transfer from the light to the electric current, since in any small time interval a vast number of photons are detected. This is ensured by the intense low. The observable therefore has a quasi-continuous eigenvalue spectrum, as it is expected for an electric field strength. In principle, one can also characterize squeezed states, in particular squeezed vacuum states, by counting photons, however, in general the measurement of the photon number statistic is not sufficient for a full characterization of a squeezed state and the full density matrix in the basis of the number states has to be determined. 